And here we are again for another RetroTech 120p challenge. This time we're playing Cabal. I am the little chap there running left and right in my blue camouflage. My bright blue camouflage with no other markings on it. Not the best military wear. Probably good if you're going to fix a boiler. I can assure you he doesn't fix boilers. He takes out the house around them. This is part of the RetroTech 120p challenge. Get yourself signed up onto Facebook. Um, get yourself in the group and take part weekly in this challenge uh, because it's a hoot. Um, I'm one of the last participants this week because I had a busy week and uh, I also lost my phone <laughs> like an idiot. And I normally record all my um, audio on my phone because uh, I'm not professional at all. Should get in a mic really um, but I'm actually recording this on my iPad at the moment this little bit of audio um, I actually gave it to the postman on my phone yes yes I am that much of an idiot um, so the idea is that I am trying to reduce that bar at the bottom of the screen uh, as soon as it's gone I will do a dainty dance that's uh, the act of a sociopath how cheery he is that he's killed all those people and uh, it's on to the next uh, screen as you can see in the diff uh, distance, there is the end of the first level. Um, it's broken up into stages. At the end of the first level is on an airport. Um, I can tell you now that people have progressed uh, in this challenge um, to the third or fourth level. Um, and uh, I do not get that far. There's a spoiler. You might as well give up watching now, really. Um, but. Um, it's a good game this anyway, it's nice to watch and it may persuade you, one, to play Cabal because it is a brilliant game or two, to join the group itself and maybe you can show me up even further and push me further and further down the rankings where I deserve to be. I am terrible. Now, um, games similar to this that I like, I've, there's one I've played recently, um, I've been playing a lot of MAME recently. Um, but if you get a chance, play G.I. Joe, uh, based on the uh, hit TV and uh, toy series. Um, it's amazing. It's a Konami game. Um, and it's, um, it's like this, but it's a bit newer. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, so in terms of this, um, you get uh, weapons unlocked by shooting various um, crew. If you shoot anyone who's got a... Um, stretcher then you get grenades um, and you usually get the stretcher up by shooting the, the guy in the grey who sort of dances his way across the screen there he is he's decided not to attack he's sort of thinking about it he's gone away come back <laughs> um, but you unlock, the grenades are very useful for taking on the vehicles like the helicopter there um, which can cause you all kinds of conniptions and issues um, so if, uh, Still on the first credit at the moment. And uh, I'm doing all right at this stage. Um, blowing, blowing up buildings uh, can give you extra points and also extra weapons, as I said. Um, tanks aren't quite the, the fearful thing that you think they're going to be. Um, it's more important, really, I think, to take out the infantry because the more bullets on the screen, the more chance you have of getting one of those hot pieces of lead in your poor old blue plumber overall bottom. It seems like a nice little war zone this doesn't it? Nice place to visit. I don't know where it's supposed to be. Mountainous maybe United States. Like Las Vegas or somewhere. Probably not though. Probably the Middle East. It's always the Middle East. 
it's quite a neat little idea though this game I, I quite enjoy it it's um a very competent uh, shooter um, it's quite innovative at the time it obviously had really good home conversions the spectrum one it was very colorful I always go back to the spectrum I'm afraid I'm that kind of guy <laughs> that's uh, the meat and bones of a cha uh, channel so um, they've got old planes though haven't they crikey I don't know when this game's set but um, those are definitely World War II era at best. I don't really know planes if I'm being honest. I'm not a big military person. Look at that, so that's the guy I was talking about. Look at that, his uh, athletic grenade throwing. He's got a machine gun, just use that, you idiot. Um, but yeah, we're in the airport now. Um, this is what happens if you forget your passport, by the way, kids, so don't do that. Um, the machine guns are pretty useful in this. Um, there's, there's a slightly better one that sort of flattens everything. That's a really good machine gun. And when I did my practice run earlier, I took on the boss with that and he was no problem at all. Um, you're about to see that he becomes a little bit more of an issue um, for me um, in a little while. Well, I will be using my credits soon. Those little explosions, the, the sort of strafing, bombing runs. Very hard to avoid. What is it, by the way, about um, red barrels in video games? How many times do you see like a red barrel in real life compared to how many times you see them in video games? And how often have you seen one explode <laughs> in real life? I've never seen anything explode in real life, apart from on the telly. Obviously that terrible thing in Beirut the other day wasn't pretty. Um, but in terms of real life, I've never seen a single thing explode. Um, not even like um, a seagull after someone's fed it by carbonate soda. Um, yeah, this is uh, the, the boss from the first level. Um, he's a right pain in the arse, actually. And it looks like I'm doing pretty well at this stage. I must admit, I wasn't looking at my credits. Then. Oh, I see. I thought, I didn't realise that happened. So basically, well, my test run I did earlier, I, um, I took him down without any issue. But now it seems, if you use a continue on the boss, it resets the boss's health bar, which is why he's a bit of a bullet sponge. It all makes sense now um, and unfortunately all those grenades I've been building up they've all gone because I died um, again that is is um, his health bar resets that's weird isn't it more money ways to extort children for money that's what it is we were so abused by arcades in our youth honestly not literally <laughs> That would be a scandal, wouldn't it? Jimmy Savile and an arcade. It's touched up by... Oh, no, let's not go down that route. Anyway, my uh, my go is about to come to an end, I believe. Um, and I don't do very well. I use by, by the... Uh, let's learn to speak. I use, by the way, uh, a PlayStation 4 joystick. I know a lot of other people were using a different ROM set that you used a mouse with. Um, but I struggled with that to get that to work because I have an Apple Mac. Um, and that's the end of my run. Uh, useless, I believe is the word. Um, so, as I say, join the Retro Tech 100 group and join in. It's fun. Okay, thanks, bye.